Uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is another episode of The Facts. Uh, tonight, this is a discussion episode. You know, The Facts is, well, some of you know anyway, The Facts is music, stories, and discussions with some very interesting people. And one of them is here tonight, uh, Pauline Park, who is the, the, among her many things that she's been doing, she's the president of the board of directors of the Queen's Pride House, the chair of Niagara, New York. Association for Gender Rights Advocacy. Here we go. And a co-founding member of a New York City uh, Queers Against Apartheid, it's Israeli apartheid, that's the apartheid of the day. Uh, and she led uh, a campaign in, for New York City transgender law, the enaction of transgender rights law, which happened and was enacted in 2002. Whew. Okay, so this, this series of discussions is about um, how money moves around, uh, which it, 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 it's eluded me for most of my life, and so I'm really very interested in this, and it's, it seems to be so important to how, how the world works. And, and one of, we're going to talk about a few, many different things, but one of them, let's, let's start off by talking about Israel, Israel and Palestine conflict and um, Palestine, the, the economics of Palestine. You were telling me something earlier about that. Well, the situation in the illegally occupied West Bank and East Jerusalem is getting worse every day. Uh, this has been uh, a 50 year long occupation since 1967. But after the Second Intifada, the Israeli government decided to exclude Palestinians from the West Bank and East Jerusalem from working in Israel. And that has had a devastating impact on the local economy. Employment, uh, unemployment rates have skyrocketed, and instead they've brought in guest workers, they've brought in foreign workers, mainly from Asia, particularly Filipinos, Thais, Indians, etc. Um, and uh, at the same time, with the vast expansion of the settlements under Barack Obama, which is increasing now under Donald Trump, uh, the settlements are basically strangling the local Palestinian economy of the West Bank. Uh, the settlements now control 80% of the water reserves in the West Bank, and water is absolutely crucial for an agricultural economy, which is what the local Palestinian economy is. Uh, the situation in the Gaza Strip is even worse, where Israel is pursuing a policy of incremental genocide, where nearly 90% of the drinking water sources are poisoned, where the Israeli government has basically prohibited reconstruction, uh, since the genocide in 2014. Uh, so the situation in Gaza is now a humanitarian crisis.